That's a fix. Try that, folks. Okay, so we opened up there with a wee bit of tradition. A couple of three, four marches that all pipe bands play, but we're going to do something a wee bit different now. The three, four marches we'll play were Tourist Side Castle and uh, Balmoral. And I revived Tourist Side Castle from when I was a wee boy. I remember listening to the Hope Pipe Band um, on parades, and they used to play that tune, Tourist Side Castle. And I thought it was a lovely, lovely tune, and no band has been playing it in recent years, so, so that's why we revived it. So we're going to do something a wee bit different now. So I'm going to have a seat for this one. We're going to play a couple of jigs. I'm going to do them slightly different. The first jig is uh, very fancy, and the second jig is it's an Indian's Paris Kaelic Sapper. I can never remember. It's an eight thing, I can't remember here. <laughs> Richard and that drum we was playing is what's known as a, a cahoon and I'd like to thank Jody and Catherine, We're both tenor drummers in our band as you can see. We're very lucky in drum work. we're self-contained and we've got a lot of talented people in the band so thank you very much. The next piece we're going to do is we're going to take you on a wee journey. It's on a train and the, the train journey starts in uh, Fort William and it ends up in a place called the Lag. Or how you call it, I said to a Scottish woman one day, have you ever been to Malag? Or, or Malag? And she said to me, it's not Malag, it's Malag. So this piece is called The Same Train to Malag. And it starts off, and the, the, the tune depicts a journey. So I want you to imagine you're all on a train. And it starts off slowly, like the steam train is built up steam. And then it gets into a canter as it goes along, heading towards Malag, which is where the, the, the train stops and people get the ferry to the outer isles. Part of the journey, you'll hear the, you'll hear the uh, it's like campered along in the middle of the tune, and that's where the train crosses the Caledonian Canal, and that's the big van. Have you seen the Harry Potter Potter movies? No, nobody's seen the Harry Potter movies. The big van. 
Well, Big Bannock is where the steam train crosses the Caledonian Canal. So this is the steam train of Alex. So if you use your imagination, you'll be in a train journey. Thank you. Imagine the train journey there? Yeah? Okay, we're going to do this something a bit different again. And I'm going to tell you the story behind how, how this tune that went to number one in the hit parade in 1971 nearly never made it. It was recorded by the Royal Scots Green Guards. And they were, before that, they were the Scots Greys. And they were, they were being renamed the Royal Scots Green Guards. So to mark the name change, they decided they were, we would record an album. So they brought in all these big fancy producers, high flying producers, spent a lot of money on them. And they had almost the whole album completed. And the, the major in the regiment, who was also the band president, went to the producer and said, look, uh, we have one particular track, I would really, really like this on the album. And if you could squeeze it on, it would be absolutely fantastic. They managed to squeeze that tune onto the album, and it went to number one in the parade in 1971. That tune was amazing grace, and it never nearly made it. So that's the story behind it. So, 
We're going to do it in pipes and whistle, and then all the pipes. And Thank you very much for listening to us. We have just one more piece to do and then uh, we're off and we hope to enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, we're going to finish off with our medley selection. We're going to finish off with the second half of it. And the first tune is Time to Spur. Then we go into the Swiss Bay. Alan Mc... Alan Mc... Mrs. Dal McPherson? Yeah, okay. And then we go into transfusion and finish off with around the ball. I can always remember the name of the last two. So thank you very much.